Welcome back to the channel guys. Oh, yeah, it's time for iOS 26.1 beta 2. And the first thing we notice here is, yeah, this is very obvious, more glass, all right? Not only here, as you can see, now we have a very nice and round circular button um, that you can use to slide and stop your alarm. And yeah, it is completely different from what we have here. And, oh, let me tell you, this thing here is running the stable iOS 26. Let's start. My iPhone 16 Pro Max runs on the stable iOS 26.0.1, and this is the stable version. My iPhone 16 Pro Max on the right side runs the latest stable iOS 26.0.1, and my smaller iPhone 13, being small but with a very big heart, Adventurous Heart is running the latest iOS 26.1 and this is the beta 2 and the build number 5059 EFDM and this is how you know. Apple is putting a lot of efforts into the new glass design and there are some changes I do believe are good and I'm gonna show them to you. It's now more refined, more polished and if you have been following also the Chinese tech scene and all the smartphones, the latest iterations on HypeOS and OriginOS and ColorOS, OMG, you know, glass is everywhere. First things first, let's start with the basics, all right. What about the quick panel, guys? Do we have more glass in this beta versus the stable one? From what I see right now, this looks pretty, pretty much the same. Okay, so here, no changes here. But what about, guys, the folders, all right? So this is now the stable version, okay? This is now the beta too, okay? Do you notice something? Now I'm gonna do this together, all right? No, the animations are still the same, but Apple is changing something and it's very obvious. Now they're aligning all the titles here to the left. And you can see this is, I do believe, something that I have second thoughts about it because here it's more aligned, all right? Also the font has changed. But besides the font, there is something else that has changed. Let me try to edit this, all right? You can see now this UI element in the stable iOS 26 is still old. No glass here. As to here, yeah, we have now a full glass element. And as I said before, it really seems that Apple are putting a lot of efforts and all apples in this glass basket. All right, guys, what do you mean? All right, let me show you how I can modify my wallpaper. We all know how this works. It's very obvious, right? You just press customize and then you have this screen. All right, everything so far looks the same. Now, guys, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna click on this window here and this window here, and voila, we have a new glass element. And honestly, guys, this thing looks much better. Here, we do have still kind of like the old iOS style versus the new one. Here, everything is finally aligned. We have a nice glass background, and pay attention, guys. Also, the buttons are different, okay? We have the same jumping animation, but there is a noticeable distance between the two buttons. iOS 26.1 better too. So not only putting some more glass into the game, but they're also refining some very small touches, like the nitty gritty details. Oh, let me explain. I'm gonna open my app store, and I'm gonna go in my profile. Yes, I know, it's hard to notice, but the old style here has all the errors in a subtle gray, and the new style here aligns it to the rest of the font, which in this case here is blue. All right, again, I told you, it's a nitty gritty details, but there is more. Let's go inside the settings, all right? Let's scroll down until we find privacy and security, all right? And now let's just scroll down at the bottom. This, I do believe, is something important. Now, the new better version has something called background security improvements. Let's click this. So it's on by default, at least in my case, and also background security improvements provide additional protection to your iPhone in between software updates. In rare instances of compatibility issues, the security improvements may be temporarily removed and then enhanced in a future software update. And when you click, yeah, you're gonna be redirected to the Apple support page. And this really means that Apple are cooking behind the scenes. Let's try to check well, this element here. This is probably one of the best thing in the glass um, effects. I really like it. And I know some people might say, hey, you know, like this is too childish. Honestly, guys, I like it. And the fact that it's able to run smooth on my old iPhone 13, just a lot of respect to Apple. Did they change anything else, guys? Let's try to edit my home screen. All right, on the right and here as well. Okay, it looks the same. I'm gonna press edit. 
it looks the same here as well. I'm gonna press customize. Yeah, we do have now the new glass elements. It's all aligned everywhere. We have the big icons and the animation is still the same. So that's nice. But let's keep doing our checks. What about Apple Music? Did they try to change something there? Okay, let's check. All right, all the transitions here, pay attention. This is really, really cool, guys. When I have a dark object behind the glass, the glass itself adapts, okay? And when it scrolls down to something that is different or lighter, like in this case, the glass effect is gonna change again and even will become like less glassy. Right now we have full glass effect and we have all these nice reflections, boom, down below, you know, everything is pretty, pretty readable. So in this regards, I think everything worked as before. Let's also check Safari. All right, here it is. Okay, same glass. And again, I really like the fact that they're minimizing the search box. This is so cool, guys, because it will give you more space. Specifically on smaller screens like this, I kind of like the way they implemented it. So far, we have identified at least three things. They're putting more efforts into the glass area by adding some new glass elements that it didn't exist before. They're also trying to align some of the UI elements. They're adding new features such as these background security checks. And last but not least, they are providing some whole new elements like the one you've seen in the alarm clock, again, with more glass. And speaking about UI alignments to the left, there is something else I would like to show you. I'm gonna go back inside the settings. When I go inside the Bluetooth, well, you can see they're implementing this change also in the settings menu. Now, everything that is a title together with the icon as an UI is just completely aligned to the left. The same happened also in the Wi-Fi menu and I do believe also inside the accessibility, probably also in other areas. But this means that Apple are really redesigning the UI in and out. Also, pay attention guys, this arrow here, this one here is the same, but I do believe a bold font has been used. So again, the nitty gritty small details, actually a lot of changes. And there are some very small underhood changes. Let's go back inside the settings. I'm gonna hit display and brightness. And you can see here, I have in the appearance, the new iOS 26 style wallpapers. As to here, yes, it's still the old style, but Strangely enough, guys, when I click on the display zoom and my stable iOS 26 and here as well, yeah, it's still the very same old wallpaper. And last but not least, they're also changing some of the core, the stock Apple apps. Uh, and last but not least, they're also changing some of the stock iOS apps. Like in this case, the fitness app, right? I can go to workout. And in the new version, guys, I have the option to add a custom workout. So I can select something like this, athletics, badminton. There are quite a few options. You can select duration and stuff like this. Here, it's kind of limited. I cannot do this from here, but they are enhancing the functionality of the Apple apps. So although it's not the biggest update we've seen yet, I do believe it's one step in the right direction to unify the whole design language in iOS 26. And this is also something I guess we're gonna see more and more in all the other phones. Xiaomi, Oppo and Vivo and who knows, maybe Samsung as well. Guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If that's the case, just go back and watch some of my older stuff. Thank you so much. Stay safe. VST over. Bye. Bye.